to record groups, the first thing we got to do is select the fixtures that we want to work with. I'm going to select fixtures 1 through 10 for this example. Once you selected your fixture, you can simply press record and click on the group button that you want to record your fixtures to. I'm going to put it in group 21. You can then type to name your new group and press enter to name it. Press clear twice to clear out your programmer when you're done. Now, we can also select fixtures a variety of other ways in order to build our groups. For example, we can go to the fixtures tab of our group window here and we can find the fixtures and simply click on them to build a group. Once we've selected all the fixtures we want, we can go ahead, go back to our groups tab, press record, and record our new group. We can also use the grouping tools to help us build groups to make easy selections. To embed a grouping tool mask into your group, simply go ahead, select your fixtures like we've already done, press the grouping tools tab, select filters from the editor, or go to the predefined group masks, and then press record and record your group. You'll notice in the upper right hand corner, it says B2 for block of two, which was the filter I selected. Whatever filter you select will be noted in shorthand in the upper right hand corner. We can also select fixtures graphically from our 2D plan view and put them into groups. Let me show you how this works. We'll press clear twice once again to fully clear our programmer and change workspaces to compose. Now let's go to our 2D plan. We're going to go ahead, select the fixtures we want. Let's select these blinders. Again, when you record groups just like selecting fixtures, the order of the selection really matters. You can see right there, I'll do it again. I selected from the bottom to the top on these fixtures, and so they've been selected in reverse order. 42 is the first one, and 31 is the last fixture. You want to be careful about your selection order because it defines how effects and fans are going to be applied to your fixtures later. So stay consistent and be aware of what you're doing. And as you learn more about lighting, you're going to find that using different selection orders is a great shortcut to do some more complex programming. I'm going to clear these and select them in order. Now, my fixtures are selected just like as if I selected them from the command line or from other group buttons. I can now go back to my groups and presets, find my group window, press record, and create a new group. Of course, I can name it as well. And then hit enter once I've typed in a name. If you want to add a color distinction to your group so you can find it really easily later, that's easy to do. Go to the cog here at the top of the groups window. Go to group color, make sure that is on. Press change and then select the group that you want to change. This window now says fixture group ACLs, letting me know that the group that I named ACLs right now is selected. I can then choose one of the predefined system colors. Go over to the user tab, press in one of the user color slots, and then select the color that I want on the color wheel to define that user color and also assign that color as the background to the group. You can select whatever color you want.